Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you a quick demonstration on how to do mountain, sky, and valley using watercolors. So here I'm just moistening the palette. Um, it's just water, plain water, in an old container. And here's the brush that I use. You want to make sure with watercolor brushes that the bristles are not too stiff, that they bounce back. So I'm going to use some dark and light blue mixed together. So for this sky, the darker color should be near the top of the canvas or paper and lighter colors near the bottom. So near the mountains, we want a lighter blue shade. So for the mountains, I'm going to be using um, the same shade of dark blue and some browns just to create a uh, basic mountain shape. So just triangles and then kind of etch them out so they meet each other. So now I'm going to be using some green to create the grassy hills in front of the mountains and closer to the foreground. You want to make sure that the warmer colors are near the bottom of the page, so closest to the eye, and the cooler colors farther away. So this green shade has kind of like a yellow tone to it, so it kind of kind of warms up the page a little. Now I'm going to be using a, a bright yellow mixed in with that green to create a, a warmer shade. And the reason I'm not saying the exact names of the colors is because this palette doesn't actually have it written down. Um, so I don't want to get the shades wrong, so I'm just going to use the basic colors like blue, yellow, red, brown, green. So now to create some uh, ground, some earth and rock and dirt covering, I'm going to be using uh, some red and brown and mix that into the greenish yellow mixture from before. And I'm just putting this where the white spaces are, and since the page is already a bit damp, it's going to blend in with the rest of the green and yellow. Now I kind of wanted to have the illusion of some grassy areas without going into too much detail. So you just kind of tap the brush on the page with a, a dark kind of medium green and it'll look like faraway bushes or patches of grass.
I left that space in the middle white because that's where we're going to be putting the water. So for water, since it's a reflection of the color of the sky, we're going to use the same shades of light and dark blue to, from the sky to make the river. So just kind of dabble that along and we're going to kind of brush that out in a minute. So this is the final result here. You can see the mountains in the distance, and it has the effect of mist kind of rising up from the water. And where I put the bulldog clips, I just kind of painted over using the same colors.